So now we've got some before shots that I showed you earlier. And now we've got some shots coming up that uh, were shot with the gun, with the nail installed. And you'll see the difference it makes. 677, that was the first shot. There's still a lot of oil in the gun. And the oil's starting to wear off, wear out. Most of the excess oil is gone. And that's the actual fifth shot, so 712 is pretty good. Uh, those pellets also went pretty well into the putty, not like it used to, but uh, they still flattened out nice. They lost all their energy. They definitely In an earlier video, I showed you how to make your pellet gun shoot a little bit harder uh, with a little modification. But uh, what I, I had forgotten uh, was uh, many years ago when I was a child, um, I would modify my pellet gun a little bit differently and uh, it really helped out a lot and uh, I'll show you that other method. Take this portion apart, pull this slide out. I think I'll just put a link to the uh, video that I did taking it apart. I'll just go through this quickly. From, that I put in the gun the other day and it's shooting at 900 feet per second approximately. Gun still not really broken in. This is the old spring that broke but it was the same length as the, uh, the original spring that came with the gun. So you can see the difference. Now, now here's the spring that I stretched. You can see it's the same length as the new spring. It's stretched out a bit. So just for the sake of comparison, let's put this one in without doing anything else. Let's see what we get. Uh, it's pretty easy. Um, what I've got here are two springs. They're both the same size. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to stretch the spring. So we're going to hold it in a vise. Then we're 
going to use a screwdriver and get it through here. We can see the progress. There's not much yet, but it's starting. And I'm going to start to stretch it. I don't want to deform it. I just want to stretch it out maybe an extra inch. Let's see if we've made any progress. So I've got it about an extra coil sticking out now. We'll just continue that and then we'll do it again and stretch it out a bit more. I want to get about an extra inch out of this. We'll put it in the gun and see what kind of velocity we get. Um, I'm, I'm expecting that this will put out about uh, maybe 800 feet per second. So, after stretching it using the blade, just forcing it in between and stretching each coil, There's not very much noticeable difference. But when I lay them together, you can see I've gotten about almost an inch of extra length out of it. I could stretch it more, and I think it will. So with a little bit more stretching, I was able to get it a little bit longer So I've got a full inch now, and that should make quite a difference. So we'll uh, put it in the gun and give it a couple of shots, see what it does. Put it on the crony. Thank <laughs> you. 